epilogue of the ongoing saga with the Triumph Sprint ST alternator o-ring. So uh, further to my last effort this o-ring has in fact failed and split. What happens is annoying. The oil leaks down and ends up on your exhaust pipe which gets hot and stinks of, um, of smoking oil Although it does protect the undercarriage from rust, it also puts oil on your drive and potentially dangerous it could go on the back tyre. So here is the failed o-ring. The problem is that in order to get this wiggled in to the hole, it rides up out of the slot and then gets sheared. Now, uh, the correct part number you need for this is T36 00100 and uh, I've got one of these now which is fitted on here and I'm going to try not to break it. As I said in my other video the technique I use to stop these cush rubbers falling out is to just put them in with a bit of grease or oil so that they stay roughly in position and um, in this situation I have not removed this water pipe and drain the cooling system uh, into a collector so I can reuse it but I'm thinking of doing that. Um, the tools that you will need to do this job are as follows. You will need a 5mm hex tool to get the fairing bolts out of the side, the top and then there is one on the front of the belly pan down low and two on the inner flitch panel which is up here so don't forget these two here okay and then you will need a torx bit to get the three bolts out and the size of this torx bit if I can get it out for you is uh, what's it say sorry it's not marked I cut this off but it is about six mil and fits these Torx head bolts. Um, also because I didn't take this out I used a levering screwdriver to push my uh, wire and hose out of the way so I could extract the third bolt which is on the bottom left and um, I used a pair of pliers to pull it out easier when I do so. The other thing you'll need is to wiggle this connector out which um, you push the side in to release it like so and wiggle it out and a 10 millimeter spanner to take the nut and washer off releasing the positive terminal which you should make sure cannot touch the frame I've shrouded it back in the rubber here okay then you can wiggle out the alternator it's pretty awkward and I'm thinking I'm going to take this pipe off with the two clips into a drain it into a bowl save so I can reuse the antifreeze and makes it a lot easier to get in here. So we'll see what happens, but hopefully this time when I wiggle it in, it's not going to snap the damn o-ring, but there's no real way of telling if it has, unless either you get chunks of o-ring falling out afterwards, or you get an oil leak. So I'm going to clean up the oil here now with some petrol and cloths underneath, and uh, refit it. I'll let you know how I get on. It's the Triumph um, ST955i, this one's a 1999 model and it has this four bladed drive with the cush and this is a Nippon Denso alternator which is in fact four pole so there you go and that's the o-ring number cheers